Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I just wanted to show you guys some more updates to the Death's Earth character. Uh, I'm still using only four off colors, so I don't actually have conch effect yet. And a few of my gems are in the process of being leveled still after being like flipped. Um, so my single target's going to be a bit weak in this. But I just want to go ahead and run a quick shaped gorge to show you guys the character. It's gotten much more defensive over time. Um, since we're now utilizing Vol Grace and Arumi's Concoction. Unfortunately, a killing portals takes forever because we're like specced into curses. And portals don't really give a fuck about curses. So I'm going to keep the defensive tab open here so you guys can kind of see the regen with Wicked Ward up. And my dodge and block with Vol Grace plus Rumi's. We do have flask effects, so our flask uptime is pretty much always 100%. I don't like how tanky these portals are. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> Alright, so here you'll get to see the single target. That was a little spooky. It's not too good. It's okay. Like, it'll do- Oh, that was a fucking big jump, dude. You know, I'm actually really scared, team. Team, I'm gonna get flash charges. Hold on, boys. Alright, so it turns out that goat is really mad with like boss AoE life minus max and cold. <laughs> feels feels spooky, man. <laughs> well, Alright, let's go do the next one. Alright, this is uh, enfeeble, but it probably will never actually be on there because... Uh, Uh, what is it? Curse immunity. Come to me, Exile.
I honestly got really confused there for a second. I was like, what just did that? So our next link is actually really important because it's conch effect and conch effect I'm pretty sure is like the largest multiplier that we get on our character. Much better that time. Alright, so that is pretty much the character. Um, of course, the single target is never really going to be like anything crazy. Um, a lot of the reason is that majority of our damage on our jewels, if not like almost all of our damage on our jewels, is damage if you kill recently. So if you have a map boss that doesn't summon anything, you kind of get fucked. Because um, that's the way I choose to scale. Because if you do damage if you've killed recently, it scales Profane Bloom. Damage over time while holding a shield would not scale Profane Bloom. So that's kind of why I try to focus on that. So like this one wouldn't work, unfortunately. Uh, but that's worked out pretty well. We picked up Vile Bastion from Uberlab, which makes us super good while mapping. Uh, the character honestly feels like really, really defensive while mapping. It's very hard to imagine dying. Of course, like DD, Bears... Uh, or getting one shot is still a possibility, but we're pretty defensive with our flasks. So, as you can see, though, if you like miss time a boss or like use your flask at the wrong time, single target can get sketchy. If you can't make use of Val Bastion or you know just uh, lack of curse effect on bosses in general, so that's really the the part where the build would struggle. It still should be totally fine. You just have to pay a bit of attention, like you know, make sure you don't run a map with minus max and fucking minus cold res and stand still on the boss with no fortify. Uh, you could also add in Shield Charge Fortify, that would make you much more defensive on the boss fights too. I just didn't really, I don't know, I haven't really felt the need to uh, use Shield Charge. Um, there's also like a bunch of upgrades we can still get. For example, this is a 220 ES helmet and this is a 250 ES shield. So realistically, if I upgraded both of these, I'm pretty sure we'd go up like a thousand ES. Um, and then the remaining ES we could get from our jewel still. Uh, this is a 32 ES jewel, this needs to be like at least like 47. I have a 47 here, uh, and then the rest of my jewels all kind of go over. We've got the Whispering Splitter Murmurs Kappa Jewel over here. You can put an energy from within here as well. These are the next four nodes to pick up. A lot of people are asking if they can use a Witchfire too. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that Witchfire will override your... Uh, despair unless you have a level 21 despair uh, but I could be wrong on that I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly how which fire interacts with other things um, by gaining a roomies as well I had to drop the adrenaline prefix on my sulfur flask so we don't move as fast as we used to but we still move pretty okay like if I were to run through a quick blood aqueduct let's see We need to get our onslaught proc. Cool. It's pretty alright. <laughs> this is what I want T10 maps to feel like. And when I get conch effect, it may feel like that. Honestly, getting a movement speed enchant on Sintrex would be like, that'd be pretty, pretty yummy. Oh man, what a terrible thing to just roll. Come on now. Whee! Let's go. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, so that's pretty much about it for right now. Um, the main thing to be updating would be our helmet and our shield, and then maybe like our accessories if we can, but they're pretty okay. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much summarizes it. We're going to try to get into our shape map pool hopefully tomorrow or the day after so we can start getting much more XP and then kind of like way more drops as well just because it's higher tier. But that, that's pretty much it for now. So anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. But first, hold on before we go. Plus one frenzy charges. Feels Kappa, man. <laughs>